Y'all, you're in for something special. We're making the next best thing to Robert Redford. <laughs> Come on. Hi, my name is Wes. You probably know me from my main channel, Highfalutin Low Carb, where I've been cooking on YouTube for over six years. But today, you've stumbled upon my personal channel for a little series I like to call Book Cook, where I scour old cookbooks for long forgotten recipes that are either historical, fun, interesting, ridiculous, or just plain weird. And today, we're tackling something called the next best thing to Robert Redford. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you follow my other channel, you know my passion for old recipes and remaking old recipes from old cookbooks. And every friend that visits usually tries to bring me an old cookbook from their family or their community. And today's comes from a dear friend, Allison, and this is the Covered Bridge Cookbook from the little town of Rowan, Indiana. And I was tickled to death when I opened this up and I'm looking for something to try to, try to, um, to make. And I see something called The Next Best Thing to Robert Redford. This is by Kim Palmer, I guess there in row Ann. Then I turn the page and the next thing is called Something Special. This is by Mildred Hozier. Both of these are the same recipe. They're just written a little bit differently. And this is one of those old comforting recipes that is pudding based, that's made with instant pudding, got a strong cracker uh, cook cookie crust that's crunchy, creamy, and super sweet. And so today we're gonna try that out. Now, I just need to let you know that I'm not leaving the low carb world, far from it. I've lost almost 100 pounds eating low carb. I've got a best-selling low carb cookbook, a Ketogenic Diet on a Budget. I'll leave all the links to this, but my point here is that I've actually remade a keto low carb version of this very recipe, uh, the next best thing to Robert Redford, and I called it Better Than Sacks. Uh. And it's over there on highfalutin low carb. I'll leave a link to that video um, here in the video description below and at the end of this video as well. So if you wanna see a low carb, low sugar sugar free version of this be sure to check that out all right let's get started okay so there are three components to this recipe they're all pretty easy and this is going to go fairly quickly quickly we're going to take a 9 by 13 probably should be a glass pan but i just made my other recipe for the keto channel uh over and it's in the glass um pan so we're going to be using a metal pan today because that's what i've got so our crust starts with three simple ingredients this is a cup of all-purpose flour and we're going to add to that um, a cup of chopped walnuts you can probably use whatever nut you like um, i'm using walnuts and then also also a uh, half a cup, which is a stick of melted butter, um, unsalted. So all that's gonna go here and let's give that a big mix. And we're just gonna press this into the bottom. Oops, get out of there, simmer now. We're gonna just press this into the bottom of our nine by 13 pan. And then we're gonna bake this off at 350 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. And um, it's gonna get kind of brown. Um, and it gets really hard and that, you know, there's a lot of pudding and a lot of Cool Whip are gonna be sitting on top of this. So it's gotta be pretty sturdy to hold up to all that creaminess and live in the fridge um, for as long as it, it can before you just devour all of it. So I'm gonna press this into the bottom of the pan and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it. Okay, so we've pressed that down into our pan as about as good as we're gonna get. And again, this, there's no pretty way to serve this that is in its final form. It's just gonna be a big pudding extravaganza. Um, so it doesn't really matter what this looks like. You just want a bite of this crumbly stuff in each, um, in each bite, in each spoonful. So in the oven this goes, I'm gonna clean up here and we're gonna get started on our fillings and toppings. Be right back. All right, guys, our crust is out of the oven and cooling in the back, waiting for us to create the toppings and the other components. We've got two things to do. Uh, one is the first is the cream cheese and sugar, and the second is the pudding. So this is eight ounces of softened cream cheese, full fat. And then to this, we're gonna add a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna just throw that in, and we're gonna beat this until it's sort of smooth. And I'm gonna try not to make a mess with this terrible uh, mixer. So I'm gonna speed this up and just get this fluffy. We're, we're not trying to make it pump air into it. Uh, we're just trying to um, uh, make it smooth and creamy. Okay. 
So uh, you're gonna move past the point of this being kind of crumbly until it gets to creamy, almost like a frosting. Um, this is our chance, obviously, to get that all of that granulated sugar combined and smooth. And you also um, can use confectioner sugar if you want to, to make that a little bit easier. Might just wanna cut down on a little bit of bit. So the second ingredient is half of our Cool Whip. So this calls for 16 ounces, a large tub of Cool Whip. This is the small one, which is eight ounces. So we're gonna use eight ounces now and then we'll use another eight ounces in just a bit for our topping. But for now, this is just half of our full large Cool Whip package. And now we're just gonna use our mixer to sort of combine this. All right, so let's get this mixed. Okay, that is beautiful and light and fluffy. And we're just gonna put this over here and set it aside because this is our first layer. Okay, and our second layer is gonna be the pudding mix. So let me get some milk and I'll be right back. Okay, so our second layer of this is the pudding. And this takes two boxes, one chocolate, one vanilla of instant pudding mix, um, not uh, the cook and serve, but the instant. One of these is chocolate, one of these is vanilla, and we're just gonna add this to three cups of uh, milk. You don't follow the instructions on the package. If you did, the pudding would be too thin to be what we're trying to do with it here. So this is a vanilla package and a chocolate package in three cups of whole milk. And I'm just gonna, you can use the same dirty blender because it's all going in the same uh, mix anyway. So let's just get this going and we'll make our pudding. All right, so we are ready to assemble our um, Robert Redford pudding <laughs> extravaganza. And this is our crust, it's completely cooled now. And um, you can see how thick this pudding got. So on top of this, this is our first layer and it's gonna be the cream cheese and Cool Whip and sugar mixture. And you're just gonna kinda well lay this down and just try to get a thin, even layer of it. It's without picking up some of your crust. If you do pick up some of the crust and get it mixed in, guess what? Doesn't matter. It's all going in the same hole anyway. Okay, first layer's done. Now goes the pudding. And as you can see, this is really thick pudding and um, it's gonna be a little more difficult to spread. And our last layer is the remaining eight ounces of Cool Whip. And you either bought the larger one, the 16 ounce, and are using half of it, or you've got two of these uh, of the regular size Cool Whip. So this is our final topping. And we're gonna spread this on. And this, honestly, <laughs> that's how easy this is. It's ready to go. It's gonna live in the fridge. It'll kind of firm up a little bit more as you, as you let it chill, but it can go now. And, um, there's no, like I said, pretty way to serve this. You're just gonna spoon it out and um, you can gill the lily a little bit here and sprinkle on some more of the chopped walnuts as a topping, maybe shave a um, chocolate candy bar, you know, piece of chocolate over the top of it to make it look really nice and pretty, but you don't have to because look at there. Ooh, that's pretty. Don't waste any of that Cool Whip. Okay, let me get washed up and we're gonna try this. Okay, so let's taste this. Um, now normally, like I said, this would probably be better in a glass casserole pan, uh, but I'm gonna try to get this out of here and the re uh, without scratching. The reason I say this, this cookie crust is crunchy and you're gonna have to, I think you can hear that, work hard to get all of that out of the bottom of the pan where you would, oh God, <laughs> y'all. Oh, this looks so good. And I, I'll tell you, I've already made the keto version and it is great as well, if I must say so myself. Pat on the back, pat on the back. And um, let's get that out of the way. And now let's taste this booger. Okay, I gotta get a thumbnail photo of this, but here we go. Crunchy, creamy, cold, Robert Redford, something special. Mm, mm, mm. Cool Whip, mm. 
Mm. Y'all, I could take this pan on the back porch and you just wouldn't see me for about an hour. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you go. Something special. Next best thing to Robert Redford. Better than sax, whatever um, you want to call it, this stuff is good. It is sweet, but it is good, and it lives really well in the fridge. Again, if you want to find out about the low-carb or keto version of this, be sure to go to my uh, other channel, Highfalutin Low Carb. It's going to be called Better Than Sax there. Uh, uh, also, you can find it at highfalutinlowcarb.com. The written recipe for this um, is also in the video description below, so if you just want to be able to print that out, you can copy and paste it there. So thank you guys for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Um, this is going to be a regular series here on this new channel, so I'm asking you, please, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I release a new video. Hit the thumbs up. It really lets YouTube and the algorithm gods know to share this with other people who may enjoy it. So um, I really appreciate it. Follow me over there on Highfalutin Low Carb, and I will see you here for another crazy old cookbook recipe. If you have something you want me to try, leave a link down below, or try to get me on my email it's also in the video description below. I love you guys. Today is a good day to have a good day. Bye-bye.